Hi, this is Ryan with Tremani. Today we're going to take a look at creating a page that looks a little bit different than what DV offers out of the box. That'll include advanced columns, some image zoom, background overlays, uh, the full width in a standard section. So this is what the outcome will look like. And um, we'll start with using a specialty section and then customizing it from there. So I created a new page here. Let's call it and open the DV Builder. Now for this, we are going to choose a specialty section and we are just going to choose this one as our example. Let's get rid of that standard section. All right, let's choose the background make this section full width, and make our custom gutter width of just one. So it can really span across the entire page. We'll add some padding to the top and bottom of the entire section, not just the columns of 150 and actually, yeah. Let's not bring it down too far. And 150 on the bottom, that'll give us a quasi full screen look and then once we go into our mobile look we don't need the padding anymore all right let's save and exit that one thing we need to do is in uh, back in this row or section we need to give it a class of gray overlay all right and i'll show you why in, in a little bit okay uh, and actually, you know what, first, let's remove that class for now. Skip that part. Okay, let's add a text module to get this header area. Text transform, let's make it all capitalized, a little bit bold. Uh, increase the text size to maybe 40. And in this area, we'll want to add some custom margins and padding. Let's see what I have here in my notes. Um, 50, 60. 50 there, uh, 30 there, and 60 there. And we'll keep that for everything except for in the smartphone view. We just have the margins a little bit shrunk here. 10 each. Okay. That looks good. Let's copy it and create our subheading text. Everything looks good. We'll make this sentence case and lower the font size to 25. All right. Let's see how that looks. Okay, let's make this a little bit darker, this background, by adding our background overlay in our child theme or in our custom CSS area in theme options. Well, we'll add this nifty piece of code um, and we'll call it gray overlay and uh, make the transparency to 0.55. Um, if we did 0.9, it would be darker. 0.1, it would be lighter. So we'll kind of do a, a mid-level transparency. So just remember what you call this class, copy it, and save changes. And then when we go back into this page and go into the section advanced settings in the CSS class, we'll just add gray overlay. 
That way we'll get to see the text a little bit more clear. And everything will be in the um, post for this tutorial, so you can grab the example uh, code to test it out on your website. All right, now that it's darker, let's go ahead and add our images. So we are just going to do a single column, even though we're technically creating a 3616161616 layout. Um, we're just going to stack them. So let's go to image. Choose our image. Now one thing of note is that I actually created the, the background here in Photoshop, so that's not any CSS work. Um, it's just to make it easier in the responsiveness. So this is the entire image. When you grab it, you can see that that background stays with it. Okay, so let's select the image and give it some design aspects like centering it. Um, and then down here, we'll add some um, margins, top margin 150, and then the left margin 20 pixels. Okay. All right. Padding. Let's go ahead and actually, you know what? I think this is for not the uh, the image itself. So let's just add some standard, some small padding here to separate these images. And then we need to make sure that we've added the columns. So let me t show you how it looks so far without any of the uh, custom specialty column uh, uh, CSS adding. Okay, so you can see this is a full size image, and we'd like it to be in a 1 6 layout. So, what we'll do is we'll add this three column special because it's a specialty section in the ET Pub module of our choosing, and we'll give it a width of 33%. So, that's one third within this one half section. So once we do that, let's make sure we copy this three column special class name. All right, now that we're back into the page editor, let's give that row um, the specific class. So actually, let's make sure I'm doing this right. The class is there. So we'll just add that to ours in the row itself, not the image. Okay, let's take a look at how that looks on the front end after we save it. And you can see now the image is moved a little bit to the left and we can add, there's space for two other images next to it. Okay, before I add anything else, let's add a hover class. I showed this in a previous uh, video, so I won't go into too much detail but I gave it a class called image-zoom. So I just need to open the image settings and in the advanced add to the CSS class there. Okay, so I've added a CSS class to both the specific row as well as the specific image. Refresh my page and now you can see that the image zoom is there. All right, all I need to do now is copy this a couple times. And you can see that I get this look here. I may want to push this over to the left a little bit. So in my row, I will add some padding to the right hand side, maybe 30 pixels. Actually, that's in the column, 30 pixels there. Perfect. All right, now let's just copy the entire row 
to give us this stacked layout to row layout. All right, great. Now you can um, lessen the space between these um, if you like, uh, so that it gives uh, you know a closer look here um, by adjusting the row, the top row settings um, on the margins. Let's just say this is uh, actually I'm not quite sure what I did there. Bottom uh, padding is zero. And the top padding is zero. So let's just do that. So the top row will get a padding of zero on the, on the bottom padding. And then the bottom row on the top padding will get zero pixels. All right, nice and close. Now in this one, we had so much text that um, we wanted to get rid of it in the mobile view just to make it nice and clean. So all that simple thing is just done here. Going to advanced subheading text and disabling it for both phone and tablets. And there it is. All right. Thanks, guys. This has been Ryan with Tremonti.